get this off of here. Oh god, crazy! What's up guys, I'm Hilly and welcome back to a Minecraft Let's Play. And today, we are on episode number four. And we are doing all kinds of things like grabbing saddles. Why would be we be grabbing a saddle? Who knows? Maybe it's maybe we should be uh, doing stuff with uh, with saddles. Maybe with some gold armor, gold horse armor. Yeah. So uh, I was doing a little bit of exploring in between episodes, and I came across uh, another plains biome that's over here, and I happened to see a horse. Now it was only one that I saw. And then I immediately turned around and went back to base and then decided that it was a good time to start recording. So here we are. So I know that there is one horse and it's brown. But I don't know if there's any more. See, there it is right there, right over there. But I've got both the saddles. Yep, there is another one, a horse. Awesome. So, oh man, there's a whole bunch of them. And some sheep, too. Oh, all the great, great things that are over here. Oh man. Okay, so let's see. Let's have a look around. Let's see if we can't find any donkeys because or mules because that would be awesome oh we got some cows perfect now we have cows yay as a matter of fact I don't even think I have the achievement yeah I did yeah that was the first time I killed a cow uh, so let's see uh, we should probably just uh, hop on these guys Ooh, this guy's got some really good hearts too Oh, I hear a zombie. Come on, let me let me tame you. Oh man, I should have brought some wheat too. <laughs> Just let me ride you. Give me hearts. Be my friend. Yay! All right, cool. Now we can slap this on there. Now let's see. Let's see how high this guy jumps. Let's get some blocks. Oh, I don't even have any. Uh, he's not even that good of a jumper, though. Let's see. Um, can you go two blocks? Maybe. Maybe two blocks. I need more blocks, but I don't think this guy is very good. But he is kind of fast, though. No, not really. He's not there very fast. This guy's just got a little bit of more hearts than uh, than average. Here, let's get this off of here. Oh god, a creeper! Alright guys, so I think, uh, I thought I had a five block jumper here for a second. But it looks like to be four or four and a half, I'm not sure exactly. But look at that, four blocks with ease. But it cannot make the fifth block jump, so. But still, this is really good. Here, let's see if we can uh, get back up here and place the fifth block. Show you guys. This is like super good. Really good jumper. But can't quite make the five blocks. Maybe four and a half. I'm thinking four and a half is like the perfect th perfect block height for this guy. But I'm going to keep this guy. Uh, because And then like I'll breed it with, um, with another one. Oop. Oh, man, I didn't jump. Get back on land, get back on land. Oh my goodness, you're drowning. Now I hear that zombie under there. Oh yeah. Clearing those jumps like it's nobody's business. Yeah, too easy. Alright, well, I'll bring you guys back and find another interesting one. Alright guys, so out of that bunch, uh, I had one other one that was like really, really fast. So I had a really fast horse, and then that was pretty much it. I killed off the rest of them, and I took the, the last one, which was... This guy that I'm on right now, he doesn't jump very high, and he's not very fast, but I used him to find some more horses, which we have here. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to take this off and uh, give this guy a kill. He's, he's useless. He's useless to me. I don't want to use him to breed at all. So right now I have the really high jumper and the really fast one that I'm going to breed with, but hopefully... We'll be able to find ourselves another fast uh, fast one or another high jumper that we can uh, breed together and hopefully get ourselves a nice, perfect uh, horse here. 
which will be really nice. But again, I'm going to continue to tame out these guys, and uh, we'll see. All right, so I just spent a large amount of time chopping down a bunch of dark oak trees, and that was just from saplings and bone meal. As you guys can see here, just a last bit of leaves about to despawn. And it is about to be nighttime, so we are going to have to sleep. Let's see, I put the rest of the saplings here. Uh, did want to keep a couple bones just in case, but I've been at this for a while, so we should have a bunch of crops already grown. Yeah, we got lots of potatoes over here, so we can get this all good to go. But uh, I know what I'm about to do is uh, I am going to build a mine entrance and I just broke one of those whoops I'm about to build a mine entrance because uh, I need to have like an actual mine around here because I've just been kind of uh, finding random spots to uh, dig in and then I would just kind of dig down grab some ores on my way down and then uh, back up to the top and I'm gonna have to leave like right now to go sleep or I'm gonna have a ton of mobs in this area because that is what happens ton of mobs just start filling this area it's really ridiculous see look at that we already have a creeper over here and that was like one second I was away from the area all right cool okay so uh, this here we go poison potatoes over here okay so we actually have a full stack now this is great um, I want to actually just go ahead and grab all of those I was using the shears to uh, take down some of the leaves a little bit quicker because it was starting to cost too much bone meal. It was blocking too much of the sky access. But I do have plenty of leaves now if I ever need any. Okay, so let's see. Let's grab one of these. And... Oh, we already have eight in there. Sweet. Never mind. Put that back. And I can probably drop off the rest of those apples good to go on that okay so what I want to do is I want to build a uh, mine entrance and I want to do it right here because I've already kind of cleared out this area a little bit and it looks it seems to me like it'll be the perfect spot for um, a, you know a mine entrance now knowing that there's a ravine that's probably somewhere like right about here um, given that uh, that one time I dug down over there so like the ravine was probably open from there to like maybe right about here so like over here would be like a perfect spot for uh, for a mine entrance so that's exactly what we're gonna be doing oh yeah by the way I also went into the nether and mined up some nether quartz because I wanted to get some for uh, a comparator so we can build ourselves a uh, automatic chicken farm, but we're not going to do that right now. What I need is cobblestone. Uh, we'll grab this andesite. Sure, we'll grab that. We'll just grab all this, all these random blocks, so we have stuff to build with. Let's grab some of that. Oh yeah, and I made a bunch of glass too. So I converted pretty much all the sand that I had into glass, and then I accidentally converted all of it into glass panes when I was putting the glass panes inside the house here as you guys can see so up there those won't be able to be fit because they are stair windows so that is that Bob is doing perfectly fine hi hey Bob how's it going yep still missing half your brain mm-hmm alright okay so oh yeah so I got some chain boots off of a zombie too I have been doing a little bit of off-camera stuff and that is just to uh, get everything situated and ready to go so let's see all right let's just get over here and let's make this uh, let's make this mining entrance happen so I want to make it look nice and pretty so we have something nice to walk into when we do go mining so of course this walkway needs to be like it needs to be three wide and I think I'm gonna do it right there okay and then so pretty much a lot of this cobblestone is just gonna be converted into stairs but what I want to do is I want to grab this. Let's get rid of that and that. If we did something like, let's grab this. If we did like this, one, two, three, and then one, two, three over here. Okay, and then I kind of want to do somewhat of an archway and then kind of round the back side over here. But we're going to need to do that with, let's, let's try the end of sight. Let's see how that looks. And 
and then we'll do the same thing over here one two three and then put that in the center as well and then what I want to kind of do is do something like this we're gonna need some more andesite and that's already been determined open oh, I placed those in the wrong spot place it like that and then uh, I guess we could do yeah, we could do one like this instead and that way we can remove these two on the inside oh whoops we're out of andesite do we have any more we do we have 16 an even amount perfect and then we'll do one like that How's that looking? I'm starting to feel it. Yeah, I'm starting to feel it real good. Okay, and then if we just bring this down like that, and then we'll get rid of this and then come across like that and then we'll bring it down. Here, let's do like this as well. Let's get back up there and we'll do one more high on these guys. And we'll come straight across like that. So that looks good. That definitely looks good right there. And you know, uh, now that I'm kind of looking at it, I kind of want this wood to go across like this. So it kind of looks like it's supporting a little bit yeah I'm digging it I'm digging it all right and I'm totally about to start digging it okay so I'm probably going to uh, dig down until I can find myself a nice cave and we'll keep this nice and open as we're going down and I'll bring you guys back all right guys so we got the mine shaft all or the minecraft mine shaft minecraft we got the mine entrance all wrapped up and I kind of dug down a little bit, I added some stairs here, and I've got like a little bit of a smelting station, plus some chests and stuff. Um, I did go ahead and dig over, and uh, because I heard some spiders over here, so I wanted to go investigate, and that is exactly what I did. And I explored quite a bit of this cave, and uh, we found some interesting stuff, I'll tell you that. Uh, I also found the entrance to that ravine. But I'm going to leave most of this stuff here. I've done a lot of mining here already. That looks a little too dark for me. But I've got this fenced off just in case any mobs decide to wander up here. Because I don't have everything uh, quite torched off just yet. So, But I think that's going to be good for now. Because mostly I just needed a lot of cobblestone and iron. And I've got most of that over here. I just got to cook it up. 38 pieces. Uh, let's do minus six and then let's grab what one two three four pieces of coal and we'll just toss that in there for now uh, I did get some stone uh, smelted up here as well because I need to be making some kind of an automatic fish farm but I will be doing that in my off time I'll probably be building it a little bit over here and uh, we'll probably do that next episode uh, because I just need something that I can AFK and probably just, you know, get some fish and uh, mostly the enchants. But for now, what I'd like to do is get these guys into some kind of a permanent situation. Because right now, them just sitting under the ground like this is, uh, you know, it's not really working out. So we got to be uh, figuring something out. And I figured what I'd do is I'd build a stable. So we're got, I got a nice place over here kind of covered out or cleared out so that we can build it over here. And I think this is this would be a great spot. All right, guys. So we have the stable built over here. And I think I like it. I think I like it. You know, I wish there was something more I could do here with it. But, you know, I think this looks pretty good. So we have the uh, the super high jumper guy. I think this is a super high jumper guy. Do you jump really high? Oh yeah, you jump really high. I could probably get on top of the uh, the ceiling from here. I can. <laughs> yeah, he's he's a super high jumper. Uh, it's definitely uh definitely my my favorite 
of the of the three that I have. Oop, I can't even get out. Okay. Uh, this is like the backup horse in case one of these guys dies. So we have something to to breed. And then this is the guy. This is the guy is really fast. Uh, just an average horse jump, jumps like two, two and a half blocks or something like that. But yeah, I, th I think I'm digging it. I like it. You know, I got the ladder here for uh, some aesthetic purposes. Um, also, the entire top is made out of half slabs, uh, bottom. So we don't have to worry about any mobs spawning up here as well. So I just have the two torches down here. But that should be good. I did end up taking down this tree. Uh, it was it was blocking like a really, really good portion of it. So. Uh, what I'll probably do is I'll probably cut back some of this. Let's do it right now. I'll just cut back some of this grass. But I still want to keep shape here. I think that should do it. Let's do it like that. And then cut one more here. Yeah, looks good. I actually want to cut back a little bit more. So that I can actually walk through here without having getting caught on those uh, on the ladder. And one more there. Oh yeah, there we go. It's definitely looking good now. We'll just wait for this to all grow back. Uh, so I have been uh, taking down these trees, these birch and oak trees, that every time I see them, uh, well, mostly when I see them, uh, because I want to keep the entire forest made with just the the dark oak. So I've just been taking down these guys. And also we can use these, uh, I can use this wood as something else to build with rather than just the dark oak. Uh, definitely feels like it's clashing right here next to the house. You know, it's you know, this guy needs to be rebuilt, though. The whole house just needs to be rebuilt. Uh, the stable looks great, but probably need to redo the house. So we'll probably do that at a later date once we got a little bit more materials. Hopefully my axe won't break. Perfect. All right, guys, so we got the chicken farm all done. All we got left to do is just move the chickens into their spot, which I've got it all dug out so we don't have to worry about anything else. And then I have the spot right here. Where they're supposed to fall in right there perfect and now I don't want to put too many chickens there again that's the reason why I'm kind of uh, doing this chicken farm in the first place is to uh, get get down with these amount of chickens that we have and I think there's probably well over 50 to maybe 60 possibly even a hundred chickens in this hole right here so it just needs to happen and that's exactly what we're going to be doing here. Oh, goodness. I almost I almost made a, a, an oops right there. Oh, yeah, guys. Just just heard yourselves. Yep, that's right. Yeah, just having too many, uh, too many eggs in there does stop up the system. So probably won't be able to do that. But that's okay. We're still going to be getting lots of chickens in here. As you guys can see already, we already have a bunch of chickens getting ready to grow up. And get cooked by the lava but i believe that is gonna be it for today guys i hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as i did making it and if you guys would be so kind hit that like button let me know that you guys enjoyed this content and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe for more awesome videos but this has been hell and i'll catch you later